Okay, so on to question number six. A rigid stainless steel chamber contains 260 tors of methane, which is CH4, and excess oxygen, O2. A spark is ignited inside the chamber, completely combusting the methane. What is the change in total pressure within the chamber following the reaction? Assume a constant temperature throughout the process. Okay, so this is uh, good old thermochemistry. Let's write down what we know. The pressure of the methane is 260 tor. And then I'm just going to also write down the temperature. 170 degrees C. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to write down the equation, like the reaction equation that's going on. So we have our methane, we have oxygen, and then we know it undergoes combustion. And when that happens, we have carbon dioxide and water as the products. Okay, so first we want to make sure that everything's balanced. Uh, so what I like to do first is I just gonna see what we have. So we need a total of four hydrogens on each side. So I'm gonna add a two in front of the water. So that leaves us with four oxygens on this side, two on this side. So I'm gonna add another two here. And then our reaction is balanced. And then first you're going to notice that one mole of the methane reacts with two moles of oxygen, which is also an excess. So there's also some extra oxygen in there. So since we know that the pressure of the methane is 260 tors, since it reacts with two moles of oxygen, then we can calculate the pressure of the oxygen that was needed. So it's 260 tors times two. And then you end up with 520 tor for the oxygen. Then next, uh, we're going to calculate the pressure initially. So we have the pressure of the methane plus the pressure of the oxygen plus some unknown excess that I'll just denote as X. But I'll still calculate it here. 260 plus 520 plus X. So we have an initial pressure of 780 plus X. And then we're going to do the same thing just by looking at the pressure final. So for that, our products are the CO2, pressure of the CO2, plus the pressure of the water. And then you'll notice that it's the exact same values as the first part of the question. And there is also an excess of oxygen there that didn't react. And then your P final is the same thing. 780 plus X. So then to calculate delta P, all that is is the pressure in the final 
minus pressure in the initial. And then you'll already notice that the two kind of cancel out, even though there's like an unknown variable there. Everything still cancels out. And then you get zero. So there is no change. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Basically the same thing. They balance the equation. And the conclusion, no pressure change in the chamber at reaction's end. So the solution is correct. Thank you.